Yo, Motorheads, welcome back to Garage... Oh, it's not Garage... Why do I keep saying Garage? It's Gearbox Pizza. Gearbox Pizza. Yes, welcome back to Gearbox Pizza. Um, today we're taking a look at the all-new Civic Sedan. Um, you look, anytime there's a new Civic, it's kind of big news. Um, very big news. So this one's pretty different. We're going to take a look at it. We're going to build it. We're going to, uh, I guess I'm going to take a look at the one to get. We're going to, we're going to navigate the sea of options and pick out the perfect Civic Sedan. So you don't have to, you can just go in and say, this is the one, the flaming skeleton man helmet guy told me to get. And the dealers, he'll know what you're talking about. He'll have it ready for you. Um, anyways, so we're on the Honda website. Oh, look there it is and by the way see that blue we'll get back to that but that's a nice blue um bu -bu -bu. there it is right here the civic starting price 21.7 um ours is gonna be a little bit more than that uh super efficient 21 yeah it's just got, it's got plenty of gas mileage you know these are these turbo fours you know anyway we've got four trim options the lx sport ex and touring um Big difference between these is the LX and Sport. They come with a naturally aspirated two liter pumping out 158 horsepower, which is a little bit of weak sauce for this thing, this new Civic, which is bigger, probably heavier. Let's just say it's heavier. It's gotta be heavier. Everything's getting heavier. Um, so having said that, we can step up in the EX and the Touring and see this 180 horsepower turbocharged engine. It's a 1.5 liter, but it's got that extra extra oomph. Um, so I think that's where we're going. So we're looking between the EX and the Touring. Uh, personally, I think the Touring, it's got all sorts of nice leather, all the, it's got everything, but it's starting at 28.3. It's starting at 28.3, um, which makes me a little bit nervous. Uh, I don't think you want to start there when it comes to a Civic because that starts getting you into, uh, you know, cross shopping whole different kind of vehicle so the ex seems good let's just jump into it uh here it is let's take a closer look you know at first i was taken back i was like you know this is not a very handsome car this car is not getting invited to the prom but you know the more the more i've kind of uh, gotten used to it the more i've kind of looked at it under different states of mental capacity uh whatever that might mean Look, you blur your eyes a little bit, you're seeing a, a 7, an A7, RS7. A little bit. I know, it's kind of crazy, but see this shape? See this kind of fastback roof line? This this shooting brake? Oh, that's it, right there. It's growing on me. It's cool. But it looks like it's a little tall. Let's get this thing lowered like half an inch. Nah, that's too much. New springs, you know, whatever. Um, anyhow, so that's the engine. Only available with the automatic CVT. Not the most exciting thing in the world, but it works. Uh, side note, if you want the manual, which we all want the manual, you got to wait for the new uh, new hatchback because that will have a manual option. So we'll get to that later. But, mm, like that Civic manual hatchback. Mm. All right, here are our color options. What's interesting is these are like the exact same color options you get from Tesla. It's just a bunch of neutral and then you got red and blue. That's odd, right? Um, they all cost the same except for the Platinum White Pearl and the Morning Mist Metallic, which are nice, you know, 400 bucks, which for a paint option isn't that bad, but you guys you guys have seen this blue. It's a nice looking blue. Um, real quick, just wanted to point out that in some color combinations, I believe it's just the gray and the white, you do have an option for a um, gray interior. Uh, I mean, if you love gray interiors, there's an option for you. But personally, I would not go for it. I mean, light color interiors are just, how is that ever a good idea? So we're going with the blue, which means we're getting the black, which brings us to this wheel. So let's upgrade to those 18 inch wheels from the Sport. <sighs> okay, we're stuck with 17s, which is very unfortunate because those 18s do look, they, they look good, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, that'll do more for your, the stance for the side profile. Look, oh, man, why do they do this? Just make it an option. If it's a thousand bucks, if it's 1500, I'm paying for it. Just make, just give us the choice. I don't know. Maybe talk to your dealer. Maybe they'll just got an extra set somewhere that they'll sell you at a decent price. 
or buy back the wheels that come with it. I don't know. You're going to have to do some wheeling dealing. But anyway, if you can score those 18s, then beautiful. If not, you're stuck with these 17s, which is unfortunate. I mean, they're fine, I guess. Yeah, just they're just fine. But what the fines, fines, what is that? It's average. We're not looking for average. Um, packages. So home to America's worst package options. I'm not, maybe not worse. Let's just go with most boring. America's most boring package options. We've got all season protection package one and two because these needed separate packages. These are just floor mats, splash guard, trunk tray, and wheel locks. So this one has the wheel locks and no splash guard. Like who gives a crap? It's boring. I've already spent way too much time on the stuff than I thought I should. Anyway. So the only one that's sort of interesting is this HPD package, which is essentially all this bolt-on stuff. So we're gonna add, see this, see it's nice and clean. We're gonna add it, poopoo kaka. Look at that, I don't know, it's too much crap. It just it just makes it busy. It's the problem with the, with the Type R. It's just too much crap just bolted all over it. It's just messing up. Oh, simplicity is nice. We don't need this, don't need this. Now, I've almost spent 1400s to get that shit deleted. Um, anyway, so we're going to not take that. So we're skipping all the packages, and this brings us to the accessories. Again, um, don't need the spoiler. Body, what is this body side molding? I just can't be bothered to read this whole thing, but I don't care what it does, it's just ugly. You know, a lot of the stuff is just protective film. Me okay, here is something that's kind of nice. Um, yeah, I see these the black Civic, the black Honda. Yeah, we like that. And look, it's 108 bucks. I mean, as far as accessories go, I think it's a deal. And ooh, I think it does is it gonna update here? Is Honda are you gonna do it? Let's see. Oh, it worked. I love it when they do this. Next up is Ooh, hey, look, a cargo net for $51. Hey. Ooh, actually, look at this. We got, okay, I, I don't, call me a sucker, but I kind of love this crap. Yeah, and it lights up. Red LED lights illuminate the Civic logo when doors open. Um, it's 306 bucks. You had a tough year. I think you're worth it. Look, every time you get into and out of your Civic, you're going to see this thing and just give you just the tiniest little bit of a smile. If you like it, we're going to take it. Yeah, and trunk dividers. How interest now? Um, so that's kind of that. Let's take a, just a quick look again. This is our dude. I like it. You know, it's growing on me. If you if you're taking a look at this thing and, and you think it sucks, hate it, just like just sleep on it for like a month. Not literally, but yeah, it'll grow on you. I promise. Um, interiors good uh, oh a couple of things to note this is nice and look it's a civic interior is going to be good um the ergonomics look fine i think this i believe this is a full L lcd instrument uh gauge cluster which is a first for the civic and i believe you have like just real dials here yeah so none of that stuff I mean, everything's just you have buttons you're not this crazy just screen thing like it's just it's just gonna work you're gonna get in this thing you know how to drive you're gonna know how to turn the radio up turn your sea heaters on all that stuff's gonna be intuitive none of this crazy stuff um so points there honda so there we have it this is the let's see base price 24 7 all we're getting is some of these nice little i mean like come on you you've earned it destination handling 1015 bucks so it's 26 129 you know, you can do a lot worse for the money. Um, dig it. It looks good in blue. You know, it, it's grown a little bit. It's not bad. This is going to be a great little commuter car. Uh, you're going to be happy with it. It's not, you're, let me rephrase. You're not, nothing about this car is going to piss you off. Let's just put it that way. It's totally fine. Um, having said that, let's just go ahead and segue into the pizza score. All right. Da 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 da. Pizza score time. Um, starting off, we've got the menu slash website, and this is particularly strong. Uh, website works great, no lag, everything's just pretty easy and well defined. Well done, well done. Seven slices, boom. Uh, next up is toppings slash options. Um, 
options aren't great. I don't know. These are like, again, home of the world's most boring option packages. So not a lot to get excited. Not a whole lot of ways to kind of customize this thing. We're going to give you three slices, Honda. Um, specials, the value, and it's pretty strong here. Look, for the money, you can do a lot worse. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and give you six slices. Now the crust or the exterior, it's growing on me. You know, you see the proportions are actually pretty nice. I see what they're trying to do, and it's just, I think it's more successful than not. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and give it five slices. And then the interior. Interior is, again, very solid. For this price point, uh, even cloth seats, good quality. Everything's where it needs to be. You got buttons uh, where you should have buttons. You got dials where you should have dials. Nice stuff here, good restraint Honda, getting six slices. Uh, performance. Well, you know, it's sort of a non-sport Civic, so it's still gonna be pretty good, but it's nothing crazy. Uh, you know, with the bigger engine, you're looking at about four slices. So, overall, pretty good showing Honda. A very respectable 3.9 pies. This is the way we like it. We'd love to hear how you like it. Um, build it, uh, drop a link, um, tell us how you do it. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Uh, and we'd be really interested in hearing uh, how dumb you think we are. Yes. All right. All right. So let's uh, let's see. Let's see. Here's the Type R. Let's see how crazy we can spec this thing up. Limited edition Bumblebee yellow. Yeah. Okay. Um, ooh, carbon fiber kit. Let's get that. Ooh, look at that. Forty-seven thousand. There's any okay accessories. Accessories got to do it. Body molding. Yeah, we're so close. Edge film. Oh! And we've hit, we've crested 50, 50,001 dollars. 50,000, but we're not done yet. We want it all. Dust cover, you need that dust cover. Mm, okay, all right. Wow, look at that, we're 51,000 cargo liner, cargo net. Getting all this stuff's included in the package. We need the first, you need the first aid kit. And wireless phone charging and the engine block heater. That gets us, you can literally spend $52,275 on a Civic. Wow, $52,000 Civic, amazing. I want some pizza!